Hello everyone, I'm Jessica Blackbird. Welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have a second, give me an emoji in the comment section and a thumbs up on the like button. This will help me out so much, you guys. I'm trying to get my channel to grow and I would appreciate your help. Thank you so much. According to Bloomberg, Bank of America tests no down payment mortgages for minority communities. So if you're not a minority, you won't quali qualify for this new I call experiment. So prospective buyer borrowers are evaluated based on their payment history. Banks long accused of discriminating against minority buyers. So Bank of America had a very bad reputation, according to some, for discrimination against minorities, not just blacks, but Hispanics and other minorities. And this, from what I've read previously, they will not look at a credit score, but they will look at your payment history of your um, utilities, your rent, car payments, and things like that. Even your insurance on your car. So if you haven't been a person who's paid your bills on time, you will not qualify. All right, so back to the article. Bank of America Corporation started a trial program aimed at helping first-time buyers in Black and Hispanic neighborhoods by offering mortgages that don't require down payments, closing costs, or minimum credit scores, all considered long-time obstacles to narrowing the gap between white and minority ownership. Customers using the program will be evaluated for a home loan not by credit scores, but rather factors such as their history of making rent, utility, phone, and auto insurance payments on time. Both is said in a statement Tuesday. The program will be tried out in certain predominantly black and Hispanic areas of Dallas, Detroit, Los Angeles, Miami, and Charlotte, North Carolina. So the program is only for people, you guys, in Dallas, Detroit, Los Angeles, Miami, and Charlotte, North Carolina. Bofa went it disclosed the planned size of the program, which may be expanded later to other cities. So if you don't live in one of those um, areas, don't even think about it. <laughs> the Charlotte-based bank is going beyond credit scores so people can use other mechanisms to define their credit worthiness, buy a home, and build their wealth. A.J. Barkley, head of neighborhood and community lending at BOFA, said in an interview. And BOFA is Bank of America, you guys. While U.S. home owner ownership saw its biggest annual increase ever during the pandemic, it remained lower than a decade earlier for African-Americans and Black and Hispanic buyers were more likely to be rejected for mortgages than their white and Asian counterparts, according to the National Association of Realtors. Approval rates for homeowners looking to lower their payments have also varied by race, with BOFA approving 66% of black refinancing applicants and 78% of white ones in 2020, according to data compiled by Bloomberg. So it goes on to just talk about the um, a lot of the things that they're offering. Like Bofa's new offering is on top of a $15 billion program that offers down payment and closing cost assistance to lower income consumers. And another program that has a goal of providing $15 billion with a B, you guys, more in mortgages to low to moderate income buyers through May 2027. While no down payment mortgages potentially make it easier for lower income borrowers to buy homes, they are not without risks. And we know that. So I'm not even going to finish reading this. I just wanted to bring this to you guys' attention. Um, if you live in one of those areas and you want to become a homeowner and you've had trouble in the past, if you have been a faithful and on-time payer of your bills that I named earlier, 
you could qualify, um, but be be very, very aware of what you're signing if you decide to do that, because this bank obviously has a history of discrimination and maybe they're trying to repair their image, but things in fine print, they're usually not reversible once you sign that dotted line, okay? Be very careful, read through the documents. And, you know, I, I just wanna know how is it that most of us have fought to keep our credit scores up so that we could be able to afford to buy things on credit. And now we're learning that your credit score doesn't matter. Just be careful if you decide, if you live in one of those areas to take these people up on this, um, what seems to be an amazing offer, but usually when a company has discriminated against a group of people for a very long time. There's always a catch for why they decide to do something that seems fair um, or seems too good to be true. I wonder if they're going to get some sort of kickback from the government for doing this. That's just what I'm thinking. I don't know if it's true. I don't know what the deal is, but just be careful if you decide to take them up on this offer. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next video.